And let's take a live look now at Capitol Hill. The Senate is busy debating the House budget bill to raise the debt ceiling. That's right. Madeline Rivera has the latest on efforts to avoid a default on the nation's debt. With just days before a June 5th deadline, senators are racing to pass legislation that would raise the borrowing limit and cap government spending. If the Senate makes any changes to the bill, it would head back to the House, a delay that could result in a government default. At this point, any needless delay or any last-minute holdups would be an unnecessary and even dangerous risk. But lawmakers on both sides are calling for amendment votes that threaten to hold up the process. Some Democrats argue the spending cuts go too far, while others, like Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, want more funding for the U.S. military and Ukraine. I'm not going to destroy our military in the name of raising the debt. I'm not going to be part of a political system in Washington that pulled the plug on the Ukraine at the time they're making advances. Over in the House, Speaker Kevin McCarthy secured a victory Wednesday night when the legislation passed in a bipartisan fashion. But some Republicans argue McCarthy's deal with President Biden compromised too much, and they're considering the idea of filing a motion to vacate the chair, though the majority say they still have confidence in the speaker. We started a few months ago with Biden and Schumer saying clean debt ceiling lift or nothing. Uh, and and just telling us to eat it. So they got a lot of good policy. It's the Senate requires 60 votes to end debate, meaning at least nine Republicans will have to back the bill before the final majority vote to send it to the president's desk. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox 32 Chicago.